Welcome back, Caseology family, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kaylin, and on my channel, I post monthly horoscope videos, monthly tarot pick a card predictions, and content related to spirituality and occult knowledge. So, if this is the kind of content that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. As for this month, for November 2020, it is wild, guys. We've got three planets that are finally turning direct. We've got Jupiter and Pluto forming their third and final conjunction in the sign of Capricorn. And we've also got a full moon eclipse at the end of the month. So guys, if you're only going to watch one video today, please watch for your ascendant sign. And you can certainly watch for your sun and moon signs as well. But without further ado, let's just dive straight in. Hi Pisces, Sun, Moon and Risings. Welcome to your November 2020 horoscope. The month starts off with Mercury finally being direct again on the 3rd of November and that's in the sign of Libra. So for this latter part of the Mercury retrograde period, you would have had potentially issues with your mutual resources, whether that's money pulled with your uh, spouse, your life partner, your business partner, or even money that you earn from others. Maybe there were delays in you getting paid. It could have been delays with your uh, tax return, with receiving money from an inheritance if you've been waiting on that, or even uh, there may have been issues with a financial planner that you see or your accountant with paperwork going missing or documentation not being correct and then needing to be revised on another level. For those of you who are in an intimate relationship, you might have had issues with your intimate partner regarding sex, regarding intimacy, regarding your emotional security in that relationship, whether that's coming from you or whether that's coming from them. There might have been issues surrounding jealousy in the relationship or anything to do with one of you not being secure in where things are at between you. But the good news is, Pisces, once Mercury is direct again, you can iron out these, these miscommunications and you can talk things out and you guys will be stronger than ever. On another level, for those of you not in a relationship and who were not affected uh, financially from this retrograde period, you might have been doing a lot of deep introspective work on your psychological issues if you have any any deep traumas from the past may have been brought to the surface whether that's you doing your own uh, introspective work or perhaps you've been seeing a psychologist because the eighth house also rules psychology it could be any any of the aforementioned areas whether it's one or several and lastly with mercury being retrograde in the eighth house if you work in the following areas if you're an accountant, if you're a financial planner, if you work with other people's money, if you're a psychologist, a surgeon, uh, if you work in the spiritual or the occult industry, whether that's a dream interpretation, astrology, tarot reading, whatever it is, if you worked in any of those professions, you would have just gone through an intensely busy period between mid-October mid till the first few days of November. Just bear in mind, Pisces, that there is a two-week pre-shadow period and a two-week post-shadow period. So in its entirety, this Mercury retrograde period that we've just had could have lasted anywhere for you personally from beginning of October till middle of November. From mid-November, you'll be out of the woods. Now, on the 10th of November, Mercury will enter the sign of Scorpio, and this is in your ninth house. So as I said before, for the first week and a half or two weeks of the Mercury retrograde period, Mercury was retrograde in the ninth house before it regressed into the eighth house. So you might have experienced issues or delays with your travel plans, whether that's going for a few months overseas or whether that's relocating entirely to another country, or perhaps it's you, um, you know, going for, for a business trip, all these matters pertaining to travel could have been fraught with complications, issues, delays, outright cancellations, or maybe you just 
uh, reevaluated whether you wanted to go on this trip or you wanted to relocate at all. Maybe you had your heart set on, on moving to another country and after this three week Mercury retrograde period, you've had a total change of mind and that's not the plan anymore. For others of you, the ninth house uh, retrograde period could have seen issues and complications relating to your higher education. And I don't mean high school, I mean further studies, whether that's at college or university, if you're doing an honors degree, master's, thesis, uh, something of a uh, long term in nature, not, not like a three week course or a six month course. So perhaps you submitted a thesis or some important coursework and you were waiting to receive the results of, of this work back from your professor or your mentor and you know for some reason it, they didn't get it to you by the deadline you can finally receive these results coming back to you again from the 3rd of November onwards for others of you you may have missed a deadline you may have you know tried your hardest to submit your work and you just didn't get there on the other side of the coin perhaps the deadline was pushed out or it was brought forwards for others of you if you are in the import export business you would have seen complications and not just because of what's currently going on in the world right now on the whole the ninth house does represent import export and Lastly, uh, Pisces, if you work in publishing, again, you will probably have experienced issues with publishing anything, whether that's uh, you work in the publishing industry, if you're having a book that's published, there would have just been changes to, uh, the, again, the deadlines and your expectations about when certain things were going to be happening. Now, on the 12th of November, we have the third and final conjunction between Jupiter and Pluto in the sign of Capricorn and they're at the exact same degree. So the first conjunction was on the 4th of April. The second conjunction between these two planets was on the 30th of June. Like I said, this is the third and final one. So every time we see these two planets in a conjunction together, which is only every 12 to 13 years, it does cause some kind of crisis to occur. And uh, Pisces, for you guys, this crisis was uh, occurring in your 11th house. Now the 11th house rules your long-term goals, dreams, and aspirations. And I don't mean what you want to have for dinner tomorrow night or where you want to be in six months time. This is really, you know your vision for your life's path and what you want to achieve in this world the 11th house also rules your friendship networks it rules older siblings and it rules your socio-economic goals and humanitarianism as well so social causes so pisces this will affect different individuals differently but in any case you would have had a crisis in one of those areas if not more so some of you may have been redefining what your long-term goals and aspirations are for the future. You would have been working really, really hard on those and you will be wanting to manifest those into reality. The good news is that the results of this conjunction are positive and they do have a karmic nature as well. So all of your hard work will definitely be resulting in a tangible uh, reward for you or result for you, which you can be proud of that you have taken actual steps towards making your dream life or your dream career a reality. Now, for others of you, you may have had some kind of crises with your friendship network, with your wider network of, of acquaintances. Maybe you don't see eye to eye with them anymore. Maybe you had a huge falling out with some of them. Maybe they're just not adding to the direction that you want to take in life. Maybe they're completely different from you and you have completely different ideas about how the world should be run, how society should be run. And you've decided that you don't want to be associated with people who it's not that they need to be like minded, but if they are poles apart from what you want to see the world become and what you want to do with your life, 
well, you know, birds of a feather flock together. You might want to find an entirely new friendship circle where you can actually learn from these people and vice versa. You feel like it's a two-way street that you're getting something from the relationship and that they're getting something from the relationship. And for others of you Pisces, the 11th house affects your salary and your wages and also uh, awards and uh, accolades. So some of you might have been working super hard and you get a huge salary bonus, um, increase in your salary, or you receive an award at work or an award for humanitarian causes. It doesn't need to be related to um, you know, the career that you're in. You know, the 11th, if you won the Nobel Peace Prize, that would be represented by the 11th house. Now, lastly, Pisces, for some of you, this could have been a crisis in the life of your older sibling, and that's how it's played out in your horoscope. So they might have gone through something very intense from April. I mean, it could have been before April, but it would be like the, the trigger point from April through to November, and perhaps you've had to be uh, supporting them, or some of you might have either had a total breakdown in your relationship with this older sibling and now you might be estranged from them or maybe you're closer than ever now as siblings. In any case, Pisces, this conjunction between the two planets has a karmic undertone to it because it's uh, because Pluto is involved. So whatever happens, whether it's with career, family, your long-term goals, in a way, this is fated and you are now aligned with your higher purpose and your highest good. Now, moving right along on the 14th of November, Mars will finally be direct after a two month retrograde period and this will be in your second house. Now, the second house is another money house. Actually, all of your financial houses have been activated the last month. That's the second, the eighth uh, and the um, the 11th. So with your second house, Pisces, you might have been experiencing issues with your financial income, whether that is a uh, change in work, whether that's uh, a loss of work or, you know, you're not getting paid as much or your income, you had to take a pay cut. Maybe your company decided to, uh, you know, take a bit off of everyone's pay and you're affected in that way or if you work for yourself maybe you're not seeing as much revenue in the business that you own that you expected or that you would normally uh, ex expect on a month-to-month -month basis for others of you uh, you might have actually changed banks had a totally different approach to your finances you might have seen a financial planner and you know, now the way that you've set up your financial income is different than it was before. And all of this stuff would have been taking place from uh, the beginning of September, more specifically the 9th of September is when Mars went retrograde in Aries. And now that we're coming out the other end of it on the 14th of November, you can see, or you can read the rewards of the restructuring that you've done and also if you if your financial income did take a bit of a dip after this period you can see it boost back up to what it was or maybe even more so for some of you now on a completely different level the second house represents what we value that's valuables possessions and also how we value ourselves so our self-worth our self-value our self-confidence on the one hand you may have been getting rid of old possessions and valuables you know out with the old in with the new whether that's your wardrobe or you know jewelry that you were given as a gift it doesn't have to be a gift whatever it is some of you or a lot of you pisceans are going through your belongings and getting rid of the things that no longer serve you for others of you this may have been more of a uh, spiritual or psychological a period of time for you guys where you have been reassessing how you value yourself. You know, am I treating myself well? Do I deserve more than what I have right now? Whether that's 
deserving more in your financial income, whether that's, you know, deserving a, a, a luxury purchase, you know, you might be buying yourself a nice piece of jewelry or an expensive perfume. Uh, you're just going through a, a transitory period where you are realizing that you haven't been giving yourself enough credit and after coming out of this retrograde period, Pisces, you will have a newfound confidence and you will treat yourself better. And by doing all of these things, how you treat yourself is mirrored by other people. Other people will treat you better. If you stand up and say, hey, you know, I don't deserve this crap anymore. You watch how other people start treating you differently now that you've taken a stand. Now on the 15th of November, we have a new moon in Scorpio at 23 degrees, which is in a wide conjunction with Mercury at five degrees. And that is in a wider position with Uranus at eight degrees. And Uranus is the planet which represents shocking change and swift upheaval. So with this new moon, new moons always represent new beginnings in some way, shape or form. Uh, there is an unexpected development occurring in your ninth house. This may be a new opportunity to travel, whether that is for holiday for a few months, uh, relocating entirely, or it could be for business, or this could be relating to a scholarship if you have applied for one you might be granted that scholarship. And for others of you, it could just be a new path of study. You could be starting a new, car, a new course entirely, whether that is you know, honors, master's degree, or a, a PhD. It won't be a course that, it, that is you know, just a few weeks long or a few months long. This will be something where you're dedicating a lot of time to it. And this new opportunity or this new development could take place um, in the import export business, whether you're already involved in it or whether you're looking to be involved in that industry, this new moon can definitely bring that opportunity to you. And then lastly, some of you may have a uh, newfound appreciation for uh, spirituality. You could have a spiritual awakening, you could be involved uh, with a new religion. You could convert religions, or if you were previously an atheist, now you're religious or vice versa. Or it could simply be that a mentor enters your life in some kind of, uh, some sort of uh, capacity. This could be a spiritual guru. It could be a priest if it's, you know, if it's a religious person in nature. If you're in the academic world, it could be a professor or a mentor who takes you under your wing. In any case, Pisces, if a new figure or a new individual enters your life and you feel like you can learn a lot from this person, it doesn't matter what the context is, that is brought to you by this new beginning and you should really look out for this opportunity because this person will have a lot to teach you in life. Now on the 20th of November, Venus will enter Scorpio and that will be in your ninth house. So studies will go well. You will be able to enjoy thoughtful conversations of a spiritual, religious or philosophical nature. You can enjoy overseas. You, oh, my candle just went out. You can enjoy uh, overseas travel. And if you have uh, put out some kind of publication, into the world, it will be received well at this time. Uh, also on the 20th of November, the sun will enter Sagittarius, which will kick off Sagittarius season. And this is in your 10th house. Now the sun changes signs once every month. Uh, so it doesn't always have to be a huge song and dance Pisces, but you will be looked upon more favorably by your boss at this time and by upper level management. So if you have some kind of work to show off that you've done really well, uh, you've done a really good job at, it will be noticed. People are watching you, even if you don't realize it, Pisces, just make sure every day you walk into the office, you're looking your best and you are you know, presenting yourself to a T because from the 20th of November till around the 20th of December, eyes are on you, whether you know it or not. On another note, 
Um, man, this this smoke is just wafting past me. So I feel like that's a that's an omen for you guys. You guys will get a, a pat on the back or some kind of recognition in your in your workplace and in your chosen career. Now on the 29th of November, Neptune will be direct in Pisces in your sign, and this will be in your first house. Now, if anyone is going to be impacted by Neptune changing directions, it's you guys, Pisces, because Neptune, along with Jupiter, is the planet that co-rules your sign. So you can experience better concentration, more focus, more energy, and a better use of your mental faculties on the whole. On the 30th of November, last but not least, we have a full moon eclipse in Gemini, and this is in your fourth house. Now, it's in a wide conjunction with the North Node at 19 degrees, and Pisces full moon eclipses bring about fated events, and they occur within three to six months from the date of the eclipse. In any case, it could actually occur from... Uh, Look, anywhere between the 30th of November till the end of May, you may experience one or several of the following. A deep change and epiphany surrounding your core emotional values. You may find out something about your ancestors. You may uh, purchase new property or land, or you can receive it as well. It doesn't have to be you making the purchase. Some of you will relocate where you're currently living, whether you own property or not. You know, you might be renting and changing locations. But what I can tell you about this Pisces is that if you are changing your locations, renting or buying or inheriting, it doesn't matter. This will be a, a fated event. Wherever you are moving to, you are meant to move there. So. You know, don't question it too much. Just go with the flow. I know you guys do that anyway. Now, on another note, this could be uh, basically having the completion or the ending of a cycle with your parents. And I mean on an emotional level. And for some of you, this could pertain more to your mother. It could be a father as well. It just depends on your chart. But if you have gone through... Um, a, a period of conflict with your parents or one of you, you know, hasn't forgiven the other, well, this, this is something that you can finally emotionally heal from, Pisces. Now, on that deep emotional thought, that's all I have for you guys this month. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from me, please subscribe to K Astrology. Otherwise, Pisces, enjoy your November and I will see you next time.